Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Azuli Entertainment bringing you another episode of Timelines and Theories. Where today we will be continuing our timeline of the popular MMOs The Crafting Dead series. Where today, it's been a while since the last episode, we've got from episode 45 all the way to 52. This is a pretty long time. I just watched episode 52 and I was like, oh wait, I haven't done an episode since episode 44. So we've got a lot to catch up on. So, episode 45, The Giant Tank Rampage Missing. Uh, how it starts out. Jen and Pat are still looking for the whole group of friends. Right now, they're looking for Honey Boo Boo, uh, the disguised man, and Jelly Bean because their house got blown up in episode 44. And they're worried that they might be gone forever, but in uh, they go into Honey Boo Boo's toilet and discover that they're hidden somewhere else. And so, they go... they. It, they're provided tanks, and they go on a huge quest to find the base where they are hidden, because there's a riddle in there hinting that they're in an army base. Eventually, they find an army base of Honey Boo Boo, uh, the Disguised Man, and Jelly Bean inside, and they are safe, but they're in hiding. And that's where the first episode cuts out. Uh, and then we move on to episode 46, the crazy exploding planes missing. Now they and now that they've discovered the whereabouts of the disguised man, Honey Boo Boo, and Jelly Bean, they want to get home so they can find and see if any of their other friends are at their main base. Doing this, they are provided with planes and they fly. The funny thing is, is that the second they get their planes, uh, Jen accidentally backs up a little, barely taps the edge of the army base, and her plane just falls apart. So she just literally just barely taps the edge of the building, and the plane just But they fly back to the base. Uh, Jen flies up into the air, never to be seen again until she is seen again. And uh, they arrive back at the base, and they discover several things. One, uh, evil Jen and Lemmy uh, were locked up in a cage, which they saved them from. Uh, and Bob, it turns out that Bob is not the villain. Because Bob was locked up. It turned uh, because the evil Bob was a clone. You could tell because the evil Bob did not have uh, normal Bob's blue sack, his lucky sack. And so they were like, oh, how could we have been so stupid? And then it turned out that when Bob was returning home after they saved Bob, he was kidnapped again, and they made the evil Bob clone do evil stuff. And that was no good. Then we move on to. Episode 47, The Great Wall of Zombies Missing. In this mission, they are still looking for the rest of their friends after the whole uh, uh, evil hero Brian debacle. This is not a good time for them. They go adventuring until they find a new massive bunker on the ground. In this bunker are Chad, Haas, and, uh, and Carter. And uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, so they're there. Carter has set up traps to protect them. Haas is working on uh, potions to stop Hero Brian, and Sad, of course. Oh, and Suey's at the base, and Sad is work uh, cleaning up his skulls. Uh, so they discover that, and it's a somewhat uneventful episode. They just adventure until they discover their friends are in this massive bunker, which they decide they need to stay in and use it as a new temporary base to go uh, stop uh, help their other friends out. Then we move on to the episode 48, the Science Lab of Madness missing. Now, they discover that there's a nearby laboratory, which they go to check out. It is revealed that it was uh, formerly Dr. Treoris's laboratory that uh, Hero Brian stole from Dr. Treoris. And they go inside, and they find two chambers, a an emerald chamber which is made to erase memories, which is, uh, and a diamond chamber made to turn people evil. In these chambers, they turned, they erased all of the mayor's memories, and then they erased all of uh, Boulder's memories and turned Boulder evil. They hadn't got around to turning the mayor evil yet, but now their friends are evil. That's no good. And they, uh, they leave and fight some evil Dr. Treoris clones, and they go and they find that Valentine is in fact stuck and well locked up in a cage because uh, the mayor was in the memory erasing chamber 
and Boulder was in the evil, the evilifying chamber, meaning that there were no room for uh, Valentine to be in either because they're both massive. So they save Valentine, and he returns to the base without losing his memories or turning evil. Because the mayor has turned evil, Jin declares that she will be the new mayor, and Pat just thinks that she's totally insane. Okay, and then comes episode 49, Capturing Evil Bob Missing. In this episode, uh, Haas creates a special device that uh, looks like a zombie spawn egg. It actually captures Hero Brian when he... Uh, no, not Hero Brian, Evil Bob when he is captured. And when he's defeated, he gets captured. And uh, at the same time, Carter used a beacon to create a super prison cell. And uh, so... Uh, and they, uh, Pat and Jen go to the uh, laboratory and prepare to fight him. They have an epic battle where they have to take down an evil boulder clone and an evil mayor clone. And they eat, they defeat those eventually and then comes evil Bob, which, ha which he has over th like 3,000 health, so it's a very, very long battle. In the end, they are, de they are defeated and they get, the e they get evil Bob captured and then... They put him in his prison, capturing him. Hooray. And then comes episode 50, the secret basement missing. Now, Pat and Jen are trying to interrogate Evil Bob to figure out uh, how to fix their friends and how to defeat Hero Brian. What they do is first they try shooting him with guns. It doesn't work. Uh, then they get, uh, Carter suggests that they feed him yucky food, and they do. But it still doesn't affect him because he feels no pain. Third, they ask Chad, and Chad suggests uses his one, uh, using one of his skulls as a negotiator, which ends up not working. And then finally, at the very end, uh, Haas creates a serum that will make uh, make Evil Bob tell the truth. They use the serum, and Evil Bob reveals that there's a secret emerald block inside of uh, their base which can lead them to a secret basement where all the answers lie. So they go. They go into the base, and they go down into the basement. And they go into a special room. And what do you know? It's actually a prison cell. And who trapped him in there? None other than Haas himself. Haas says that he has turned to be on... Uh, uh, to be on Hero Brian's side, because in the end, if he just stayed on the good guys, eventually they'd all die, in his opinion. And the only way to survive this war is to be on Hero Brian's side. So that's not very good. So in the end, that uh, he turns, and then them and Carter, uh, Carter and the two of them are stuck in that base at the end of the episode. A very uh, crazy cliffhanger to end the 50th episode of this great series. Then, episode 51, Explosive Escape Missing. They eventually break out of their cage, and they confront Haas, and Haas uh, tries to recruit them to go over to Hero Brian's side also. This, uh, they say yes, but they're really lying. They're gonna be like double agents working for Hero Brian, but really working for the good guys. Uh, so they go out, and that's what they say they're gonna do. And in the end, it turns out that Carter escaped with the help of a now reformed Boulder and Tsui. At this point, we don't know how Boulder turned good, uh, but Boulder, Tsui, and Carter are there. Uh, they suggest blowing up the base, and uh, Pat and Jen fill it with tons and tons of C4 and light it up and blow it sky high. But it turns out that Haas has survived. But they keep on going. Finally, we have episode 52, Saving Our Home Missing. Well, it turns out, uh, well, they go back to the BBB, the big beautiful bunker, and they figure out several things. One, everybody's gone except two people. Chad, who went back to get his skulls, and uh, the evil Haas, who has uh, captured Chad. Uh, so they free Chad, and they talk of Haas, and he says that they, you uh, he survived due to a resistance potion that they can still join the evil side. And that Bob's uh, clone perished, but Haas had a special resistance potion that kept him alive. So, eventually they free Tan and they start going back home. When they go home, there's something horrible there. Hero Brian's most insane and evil creation to date. Uh, the Hero Brian's 
monstrous beast. Dun dun dun! A massive monster about the size of Bob's mom holding a massive machine gun that makes Boulder look small. They eventually defeat it after a long battle and they get in. It turns out that the mayor and a Boulder are cured due to the fact that Chewie pulled them out of the base and once they were far away from the memory erasing emeralds and the evilifying diamonds, they uh, realized uh, that all their memories came back. Uh, so that was good. So they're all reformed. Uh, I'm not quite sure it's up with Lenny. Because, uh, oh, so, I'm very stupid. Something I forgot to say in episode 46, I believe, is that Lenny gone insane. Uh, just He just went bonkers. Uh, so he hasn't appeared since like episode 45, 6, I believe. Uh, 46, where he went totally bonkers, and the episode ends with them ho uh, hearing that Chad is going to tell Honey Boo Boo, the disguised man, and uh, Jelly Bean to return back to the base because this mini war is over, and they say they can't wait to see their friends again. And now it's time for the theories. Now, uh, this, uh, my first theory, comes from Haas's phone. Uh, because Haas has a diploma, but when killing one of Haas's clones, the clone drops a phone. Uh, Jen thought this must mean that, uh, Haas isn't a doctor, but I still think he is. My evidence is the fact that they were clones. Only the original Haas actually went to medical school, and the other, uh, Bobs only, uh, were clones. They never themselves went to medical school. And what this could mean was the fact that they have phones signals the fact that they're minions and they need to call their commanders like uh, the uh, minion, the clones would need to call, uh, call the actual Haas and Hero Brian. So that is definitely a possibility and it would explain why the clone dropped the phone. Now, Bob says that since his clone was killed, they can never make another clone of him because they don't have any DNA. But that isn't for certain. For all we know, there could they could make another Bob clone because that's entirely possible. Because it doesn't say for sure we don't have any more of a Bob's DNA. For all we know, they have a huge stockpile of them, enough to make 50 more Bob clones. We don't know that for sure. And uh, final, well, and with Haas. Uh, Haas turned evil, but knowing the crafting dead, I think he's going to become good again, because pretty much every time someone is evil in the crafting dead, they eventually end up good. You've seen, like, Valentine was evil, turned out it was a robot. Uh, Bob was evil, turned out it was a clone. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Pretty much everyone evil turns out to be good in the end. Uh, the mayor and Boulder, they were cured for their evilness, and all the stuff like that. So... Going by the pattern of the other, the whole series, Haas should be good within another few episodes. That's just kind of how the series goes. They can't just constantly kill off characters because they want to make a good series and stuff. Though I wouldn't mind if they killed off a few characters. And I know I've said this in every theorizing video on The Crafting Dead, but I still think that Evil Pat should and could be a thing. That would be cool. I'm waiting for Evil Pat to be a thing. That would be crazy. And uh, for uh, I think that they uh, since they're starting, uh, they need more ideas. I'm thinking they're gonna go for the more whimsical stuff, like they've gone for like uh, hypnotizing boxes, basically, and secret laboratories and stuff. So they're obviously going for the more whimsical and less normal, since they've done a lot of the normal stuff. So what if that means they could bring in someone like say Captain Cookie? Now since uh, Epic Proportions has end. I would love to see Captain Cookie make a return in The Crafting Dead. That would be awesome. I would really enjoy that. So, that's pretty much all I really have to say about that. Well, if you enjoyed this timeline and theories, leave a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe to join the actual Empire. That would be great. Next time, we will be doing episode 53 to whatever. I don't know how, how far along it'll be till I do the next one. I will probably not wait another seven episodes. 
because I had to rewatch all seven episodes to remember what happened because it's been such a long since uh, time since I saw episode 44. And when I was watching it, I was like, wait, where in the story am I? And this series is getting very long and very, very complex, so it's getting hard to remember all these events. So I'm try uh, probably going to do once a month, maybe every four to five episodes, a, the uh, a timeline in theory. What do you guys think about that? Well, until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Azuli Entertainment. And goodbye.